Hey everybody, it's Ryan here with Ryan Outdoors. I have come out to the edge of the state land. I'm not too far in. The road's actually right over there. And I am here to do a full setup and review of the Cuboid 2.20. Um, this is a fantastic, probably the best, in my opinion, hot tent on the market today. This comes to you from Russian Bear Market. Um, they're out of Russia. Uh, hand stitched just awesome quality tents um, I'll put a link in the description to their website where you can check out their different tents they've got several different kinds they've got some that are, are rated to just terrible terrible cold cold weather um, this one here I really really like this would make a great base camp for um, big family camping trips hunting trips whatever uh, other cool thing you can use it out on the ice like an ice shanty that's awesome um, <clears throat> I've also got the insulated floor for it which is cool so if you're out on the ice and you got a tent with a floor and you got a wood stove in there you're gonna melt the ice underneath it's gonna turn into water fire goes out it's gonna freeze you're gonna freeze your tent right to the ground with this it blocks 97 percent of the heat transfer down to the ice which in turn also blocks 97% of the cold coming from the ground. So that's awesome. Um, like I said, this tent is fantastic. They make awesome wood stoves and go to their website. I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, check out all their great products, but we're gonna get this set up. Okay, hopefully you can hear me just fine. So, it comes in this heavy duty waterproof bag. It weighs roughly 50 pounds, um, maybe a couple pounds more. Wrong him. There we go. And also, in here, you get all the Steaks and everything else you need. So I'm gonna slide that over there for now. So first thing you're going to do you got to pop out all four of the sides. Real quick, I want to show you some of the uh, things that come with it. You get a nice little repair kit, too. Look at these tent stakes. Tent stakes, rather. It's rebar. Heavy duty. You can pound that into a tree. So, you get plenty of those to stake it all the way down. You get uh, this little fireproof blanket to put under your wood stove that comes with every tent. Probably wondering what these are for. Get four of these. I'll show you these in a minute. So let's take a quick tour of the inside, shall we? So here's the door. 
there's three layers to this. You got your regular outside waterproof layer, you got your uh, screen to keep the bugs out, and you've got another uh, insulated layer. Awesome zippers. Um, look at the quality of them zippers. So, and I, I don't have the stake down, so do keep that in mind. And when I took it out camping, I didn't do a very good job of cleaning it. So when I set it up at home today, um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do that. So, lots and lots of space in here. Um, you get this cool little storage pocket thing there. It's got uh, zippered pockets, uh, Velcro pockets, clear pockets, mesh pockets. Up here... You get uh, all kinds of little storage options. Um, anywhere from clear plastic all the way to mesh. Um, you get a little zipper pocket right there. And you can change these around. They're not permanently there. They're Velcroed on. So, um, yeah. Then, right here, I can try to... So right here is your stove jack. Um, you open that up and everything. This is all fire retardant material. Your stove pipe goes through there. And, you know, this obviously rolls up. But, uh, yeah, so that's where your wood stove goes. And the way their wood stoves are designed, you know, looking at the position of this, you think, oh gosh, it's going to be right in the middle of the tent. That's kind of weird, right? Well, actually, let me sit you down here for a second. The way this is designed, so there's the stove jack. Their tents, or not their tents, their uh, the stove jack runs straight down like this, and the stove sits here up against the wall, and then radiates the heat. You put a cot or bunk bed cots, whatever, on each side. So um, you got another door right here, same material. There's that door there. So I'm going to show you the inside of this window real quick here. So what's cool about these windows is there's quite a few layers. So you've got uh, your insulating layer. You got your bug screen. got your clear plastic window if you just want to let the sun shine in or you can roll that up too but cool thing is you've got these little kickstands I'll show you that real quick that uh, hold the window open to let fresh air in so that's cool and then you can either you know you can roll this up or you can roll the outside up also and have just the sunshine coming in or if it's uh, summertime and the mosquitoes are bad, you can roll that up and boom, you got your uh, bug netting. So there's two of those windows. Um, the other one's right here. Does the same thing. Also, real quick, I wanted to show you. Right way down here is a little vent to let fresh air in. Or I suppose if you're running a gas uh, heater, you could uh, run the gas line through there and put your propane tank outside, obviously. But I'm six foot two. So yeah, this tent is, is huge. Um, it's 87 inches by 87 inches by, oh God, probably 92 inches or so high. You also got this little uh, mesh pocket right here. But, um, so that's cool, right? Let's go get the insulated floor. I'll show that off real quick. Okay, so here's the floors. There's, it comes with two pieces, which is cool. And you get two color schemes. So you get kind of a digital jungle camo, if you want to call it that. And you get, uh, 
kind of like a real tree camel. So you put these down like that, and here's the other one. And the other one you would take and uh, so, and you can add them mix match. But uh, oops, sorry. So that goes down, and it velcros to the bottom of this piece. Like that. So I'm not going to velcro them together right now. But uh, <laughs> just to give you a little bit of an idea how big this tent is um, yeah so you can take and put these underneath the shelter or the tent or inside the tent um, I got them inside the tent right now just to show you guys how they work I'm gonna show you guys something else that's awesome about this tent you don't see this anywhere else How cool is that? Don't mind the mess in there. So, you're probably curious what these poles are for. Cool, right? So, you got a tent. Can't see me. Uh huh. You got a tent with a uh, awning or gazebo or whatever you want to call it. So here's the other cool thing. So you got your awning set up. You want to sleep with it open, right? So And it also zips shut on the bottom, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. So now, you got a bug screen. Well, what if you don't want to step what if you don't want to step outside the door to come out to your little uh, gazebo, right? Check this out. So you don't want to step out and get in the snow and everything. You want to just come in here, grab your stuff. Okay, cool. <clears throat> they thought of that too. <laughs> so this, this is a fantastic company. This is a fantastic tent. Or, you know, here's the other way to look at it. So mosquitoes are hor horrendous. Um, it's raining out. You want to just cook on your little cook stove or your grill right here. It's Say it's summertime. You don't want to bring the wood stove with, which you can cook on also. So what you do, this comes with the tent. It's my first time putting this on too, so bear with me a little bit.
This is an absolutely fantastic tent. It's a great product. Um, again, Russian bear market. They have completely outdone themselves with this tent. Um, they make numerous other tents. As you guys know, I, I had the Sputnik 3. They seen my review of that. Um, they liked it so much that they sent me this tent to review. Again, this is the Cuboid. Cuboid. C U B O I D. Cuboid. I think that's how I'm supposed to pronounce it. But um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic tent. And I'll I'll give you a description of everything in the description of the video. But uh, yeah, this is practically rip proof. It's waterproof. Um, I know some people worry about condensation in tents. That's the cool thing about this. So if I don't open that outside window, but I open the inside, that's designed, especially in the winter time or cold weather when you got the wood stove in there, so that outer layer, that air will heat up, and that'll keep the condensation down in the tent. I've got a lot of trips planned with this this year. Um, I want to go out on the ice, do a do a camping trip right on the ice in this tent with the wood stove. How cool would that be? Um, you guys seen a, kind of a preview of this tent. Um, I didn't have it completely set up like this uh, when I went on my four day, three night adventure. Um, Again, I, I can't say enough about this tent and how awesome it is. And the other cool thing about that bag is that's big enough. I'm going to put all this stuff in there. So thanks again. If you guys like the, the review, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm telling you, check out Russian Bear Market. I'll put the link right here. To their website and it'll be in the description so thanks for tuning in hope you guys liked it we'll see you next time